we couldn't even verbalise, you know, what this place means to most people, I think, you know. We had um, an inspector from the department recently, and he was awestruck at the steps on the stairs and the, the worn linoleum and, and the shine from it, just the way the sun was shining in that morning that, um, you know, he was thinking of the thousands of little footsteps that went up and down there. So for many of us, it's, it's our own memories as well being in school here, because that's irreplaceable. And it is progress, but at the same time, it is you're leaving behind a piece of history, part of ourselves. Again, it's no one thing. It is the combination of those memories, uh, good and bad, or... Um, the noise of the place, um, or, you know, I come in early in the morning and gradually that noise level builds over the course of the day. And, you know, when, when it is finally stilled and uh, the door is closed for the last time, it, um, you know, it'll be sad. It will. You know, there's no, there's no escaping that. It's going to be a massive change. And if I'm very honest, I'm probably speaking for most of the staff. No, none of us do want to go because look at who likes change at the end of the day. Nothing ever stays the same forever, though, and we're all aware of that. But Anna, I suppose on a personal and staff level here as a school, you know, Sacred Heart will be no more. And that's massive if you're to really think about that. I teach senior infants at the minute. In, in the room, I was in junior infants. I feel like I'm part of the furniture. I went to school here, I went for a few years, and now I came straight back. The last day, the last day in June, it just finished up. The girls were just after going and next thing there was a knock on the door and in walked Hazel Green out of the sixth class. Not my class, but she's my class for music. And uh, I just want to say thanks very much, Miss Phelan, for all the music. I did say to her actually at the time, well, you know the parable, Hazel, about the, the number that went off and one came back to say thanks. That this, the simplicity of that child, and yet she was the head bottle washer all year, wondering how she could help you, and out of them all, and you think, you know, you've touched base now with 95 of them all year, Hazel Green comes up into the door at quarter to one to say thank you. The idea of leaving this building that has such a history that goes back such a long way and it's been added to and it's got all these weird little intricacies in terms of how the corridors work and everything. And I love that sense of history around Sacred Heart School and it's something that I think I'd really miss. I think I, you know, I'll miss the friendship because when I moved up here eight years ago, I didn't know anybody in Port Leash. And from getting to know everybody on the staff, I've built up a circle of friends and I've built a life for myself up here. And all of that is down to the treatment that I got from the staff here and I was made feel so welcome. And I really appreciate that, you know, that they, they looked after me. But I think that everyone's coming in with the same attitude that, you know, we'll make the best of this.
host of memories, uh, um, the, the memories of, of childhood, the memories of going to school there, the, the, you know, the brilliant people that we, I was, you know, lucky to work alongside, um, all fabulous teachers along the way and, um, the camaraderie that we had in the, in Sacred Heart School and, the, it, it, like a family unit it was so I, that's what I will miss about the school but I'll probably more mourn the, the passing of an era really You've heard probably the expression some of the teachers say I'd love to take them home but you do get very attached, attached in a way that you want them to be secure and safe. You want them to be able to experience life the best way possible. But I think to be able to say to yourself, I've done the best I can, I can see that the child is going to make waves, they're going to be all right, and be secure in yourself that you've done the best you can for that child. I think you have to remind yourself that every day. Have no regrets, I think, is one of the things. And, and also, be mindful of what you say to a child at all times. Be it in anger, be it in a stressed moment, be it when you're finding the day difficult yourself, you know, because they remember those things as well, they'll remember. So I often, um, if I'm really stressed, I'm really getting things into a twist, I say to them, sorry children, but I'm, I'm not great today, you know, I'm getting things mixed up or, and be, be, uh, what's the word? Um, be human, be human. And even if you want to dance around the classroom with them, do so. Sacred Heart is a smell. I, you can miss that. You can miss the quirkiness of it. My twin sister teaches in um, a lovely school over in Carlo, and it's brand new. I mean, like we'll be going into it. And, but, you know, she came into the class in junior infants and she said, you'll miss all the nooks and crannies, all the stairs, all the different, I don't know. Odds and ends. And just a bit of banter, like, with Brendan and, I mean, just, you know, just odds and ends, like, just that comes with kind of a school with a bit of history. I know Catherine is gone, but I will miss... I will miss the way she... When she announces that, like, pink lunchbox with no lid has been found... Like, she'll announce it in a way that I, there's 700 children that have the exact same thing. <laughs> I miss that. I miss that. Nive Medic Dunamok in you. Also, there's a black pencil case gone missing on the yard. If anyone knows anything, could I drop it into the school? I love when she announces something and the way she announces it. And it's like she's describing it a generic thing that literally every child in school will have. It makes me laugh every time, but yeah, I miss her pink left glove. There could be a hundred. There's definitely a hundred children missing a pink glove. It's like 97 of them are in the office wondering if it's theirs. <laughs>